Only people that do it in front of the world. Everybody got problems. But we got to stop cussing each other out in front of everybody. Tiffany, you call me right now. 803-9824. You mother... After the show, you can cuss me clean out the building. And me and you going to argue and cuss and fight. But I'm still going to... Get, you know, we still going to be cool at the end of this. We can disagree without being disagreeable. And But no, no, no. I'm not excusing Cat. I'm saying if Cat says something that you perceive as disrespectful, get at him directly. That's all. And if you and if you say something, and that way we can do it in-house. I should never cuss you out on these airwaves. I should never say anything bad about you on these airwaves. If I got something bad to say about you, I need to say it directly to you. And then leave there let everybody in the world think Tiffany Sports and Hills and H Rap cool as hell. But me and you know we got an issue. Big L know we got an issue. Mocha know we got an issue. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And because look, take the high road, cuss them out that's all I'm saying. I mean I'm not I'm not uh 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 but you know what? I'm not saying that what he said wasn't fact. We don't have to fight in public is what I'm saying. Let's stop fighting in public. Cuss each. It's just like if I was dating you, Tiffany. I ain't got to come on air. This motherfucker, Tiffany, man. Oh, man, she get on my mother. I ain't got to do that. And if you had your own show, you shouldn't do it to me. We should cuss each other out. I and mean, we on these airways and we go out of the world looking. We should, uh, he didn't talk bad or cuss him out on the radio. He did. He started talking about the man's personal business. He started talking about uh, uh, how he blew opportunities. You don't. <coughs> we, but we don't have to do that in public. Is all I'm saying, y'all. It's cool. All it's all good. Cat, Cat and Mike gave their own opinion. Kevin gave his opinion. And 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 you're right, Big L. They did. But why are we giving? Okay, let me know when last time Burt Reynolds gave his opinion about uh, what he did. Uh, one of Charlie Sheen gave his opinion about somebody else. Well, this dude, they don't, they have beef, but they don't put it on the Breakfast Club. They don't uh, take a coffee drop. Me? Okay, let me get a sip of water. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I got a little sip of water. Uh, that's all I'm saying. We don't have to do it publicly. Like I said, I like I have refrained from calling. Stephen A. Smith, cool, sucker. Now I'm, I'm gonna keep calling him sucker. I'm, I'm not, but you know, but I need to, I need to refrain from calling him cool, sucker, sambo. I need to stop calling Jason Whitlock that in public. I really do. I'm wrong. It may be true, but I need to stop doing it because if I call, please don't take this the wrong. If I call you the B word, Tiffany. That means it's a white man listening to that who may get comfortable enough to call you that B word. Then I'm going to have to put the paws on him for dis disrespecting the sister. But if I'm disrespecting the sister, how can I tell you not to disrespect the sister? So Cat is wrong for saying what he said. I took it a different way. And I've heard a couple other comedians, they received it the way I received it. So Cat should have used different verbiage. Uh, all Mike Epps said, well, he didn't think he was fine. That means you get punched in your throat. Exactly! You punch me in the throat, but you got to see me to punch me in the throat, and then you punch me in the throat and say, man, bro, don't you ever disrespect me like that. And then I get to say, Tiffany, I'm sorry. And then we, me and you resolve it. We don't have to resolve it on x Radio is what I'm saying. We don't have to resolve it on, on Real, Real Cash Radio. We don't have to resolve it on BS3 Radio. I said throat. That's what I said. Throat. Oh, 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 in the throat. No, oh, throat. Oh, okay, throat. <laughs> yeah, the throat. We, we, see, we right here. We right in the throat. In the throat. I get you. I get you. But that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that Cat was right, Cat and Mike was right, and Kevin was wrong. Well, Mike and my uh, Madea for in the throat. Well, you got to put a, you got to put a K on it if you're going to do Madea. You gotta put a, it's the thought if it's my deal. But not not realistic. But it, it is realistic. No, Big L, it is realistic. It is realistic. 
Because other okay, okay. Uh what's what's that uh what's that uh 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 I hear you H Rap. Great concept, but not realistic. I'm not calling Tiffany anything but Tiffany fact. Oh yeah, I ain't I ain't calling Tiffany. She already told me she gonna punch me in the throat, so I ain't, I ain't in the throat. So you know you can get punched in the throat. Doctors ain't even gonna be able to find it first and foremost. And then you ain't gonna be able to breathe and it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard situation. But it it no, it's not realistic. Okay. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Uh George Lopez is one of the, the most Latino hood comics. He would be the the black, he would be the Latino Bernie Mac or, or DL Hughley or whatever, or some something way in the middle. And Paul Rodriguez is a Trump supporter. Paul Rodriguez came out and said, we got to stop Mexicans from coming in the country, which is the most absurd fucking statement in the history of verbiage, if you ask me. You didn't hear George Lopez come out and diss him. There have been other white people who disagree with other white people. Like, it's white people that disagree with Roseanne. All they said was, Roseanne was wrong. They didn't Oh, that fat bitch, blah, blah, blah. We have to disagree without being disagreeable. We don't have to like each other. We have to respect each other. Perfect example of what I'm talking about, Big L. Malcolm, Brother Malcolm, had disdain for the behavior of Martin King. He called them Sambo. For what they were doing, you are wrong. Wow, I'm wrong. Speak on. I'm, I don't have a problem with being wrong. You don't get no prize for being right in life. You know, at the end of the day, you get about fifty things right. They don't pull up with the, with the five fifty SS, the, the S five fifty B, and say they show us you was right all day. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Brother Malcolm said disparaging it. But it on. Oh, but, but but you know what? How do they do it on Good Morning America? Do they do? And we better than them, Tiffany. That's the point. We're better than them. Don't let's not stoop down to that level. That's all I'm saying. We're better than them. I just don't want us to have these public disputes, which allows other people to step in between us and stop our progress. I don't want to. We can't get along with everybody. We cannot. And you're right. I'm talking about. I don't see. On Good Morning America or the Howard Stern. I don't watch it. I don't listen to Howard Stern. But you don't see this the way we do it, is what I'm saying. We can be we can disagree. We can't be disagreeable publicly. I can hate your guts, but you know what? I'm still gonna tune into your show. I'm gonna turn my iPad on and I'm going to turn it down, and I'm going to walk away, and you're going to get credit for my lesson. Now, I hope you would do the same. That's all I'm saying. Roseanne is, uh, is on Roseanne without, I bet he's still getting paid from that. Facts. That's what I'm talking about, Big L. The people took her off her show. It's her idea. They're going to keep paying her for it, and she off in the background. And, you know, they might say, oh, you were wrong. I didn't appreciate what they were doing, but Cat shouldn't be calling nobody ugly. Kevin shouldn't be flossing his money because guess what? Those same people you poking out your chest for saying I'm on top, I'm on top, they was you will be standing in front of the ass kicking machine, putting quarters in it while that thing kick you dead square in your ass every time. That's all I'm saying. We cannot. We we don't. I, I'm not. I'm not asking for euphoria. I'm just asking for basic, uh, 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 basic uh, 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 common courtesy. That's all I'm asking for. That is all I'm asking for. So you know, that's all. I mean, neither one of us are wrong. I just, I, I want us to elevate to a higher level. That's all I'm saying. And with that being said, back to Magic Johnson and Kobe Bryant. Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant. I just think. They misstep. I think they need either. It's starting to look like they get missing order. If you ask me, this is just uh, Big L finna kill me for this too. He finna go. He finna go on. He's still on me for this too. If you ask me, if I was LeBron and them, I would trade Brandon Ingram 
and get Bradley Bill. And I might even ship Zoe out there and get Bradley Bill and give this a straight shot at them Golden State Warriors this year. I think the whole... Oh, yeah, no, no. But you know what? I know you are, Big L. I know you are. Because if you wasn't, you wouldn't even engage in this section of the conversation. But I just want us to be able to disagree without disagreeing publicly. We can disagree behind closed doors. We can cuss each other out behind closed doors. And then uh, we can move forward. You would definitely, my man Greg will say you would definitely zip, zip, ship Zola. I don't think Brandon Ingram can exist in the world whereas LeBron James is the king. Because B.I. is the captain of Google who has to, has to have the ball in his hand. Zo, I think he could fit into the mix, but I would definitely get Bradley Bill. And look at it this way. Ingram is still young. I would keep him. He's a year older than Zo. I don't think he can exist in that world. I think B.I. needs to go. You bring in Bradley Bill. You got that outside shooting you need. You got hard with the shooting. You got a bunch. And remember, I think uh, 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 Bradley Bill was on a team that was uh, 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 um, Bradley Bill was on a team that was surviving without their best player last year, which leads me to believe when LeBron takes a blow, he could be out on the floor getting it in, moving the ball, and playing defense like they need to do anyway. Can't get rid, get rid of any good player, okay? Uh, they can they can allow this uh, habit responsible for such a, uh, <clears throat> for much of mankind's misery. It's perfectly acceptable to install someone of problem. Sometimes they might even thank you after they might even thank you afterwards. But when we do in the color, we tend to think uh, think you are serious. Yeah, we tend to think you are serious. Thank you. I, I agree, James. We have to. Take it. And Amy Schumer goes hard in the paint on Twitter. But you know what, Tiff? Amy Schumer, she can also, she has the ability to write that off as I'm just a comedian as well. And it's on Twitter. I don't, when she's on Jimmy Kimmel, she ain't gonna do it. When she, she don't really. And then who is she going hard in? She's gonna write those off as jokes. And Amy Schumer is a hack. And that's my opinion of her. And, and that really has no bearing on what we're talking about. I, like it, I, just, I just don't want our community to do it. I just don't want, I'm never going to diss anybody on here publicly. I got a lot of the brothers who do shows, phone numbers. If I got an issue with I'm calling them directly. And I would prefer as a community if we disagree and private and put the good face on. Because the reason I really want to stop that, Tiffany, is this. When we disagree with each other, we stop fucking with each other. It's 50 million of us. We don't have the room to stop fucking with each other. We don't have the room to stop fucking. Oh, you know what? I don't like Tiffany. Of course, I ain't listen to her show no more. Fuck her. No, we don't have that. We don't have that luxury. But when it's like 130, 140 million of them, they you can stop messing with it. But that's the thing. They can hate. Look, look. Look in uh, New York City. There are five. At one point, there were five major crime families. Those five major crime families control crime throughout the United States of America. Let's not forget those five major crime families started off shooting at each other. So they all don't like each other, but they figured out a way to disagree in private, and then we might have to kill somebody here and there, but we gonna keep this in house. And that's what I'm asking for. Let's just become one gigantic Nubian crime family. Oh, Nubian family. And uh, and then we can get it popping. We, we don't have to like each other. I'm not asking y'all to like everybody. I'm not asking you to get along with everybody. Let's just be disagreeable in private. That's all I'm saying. Let's disagree behind closed doors. That's all I'm asking. If we're going to disagree. Let's not disagree on Twitter. Let's not disagree on Facebook. Let's not disagree on uh on, on, on the end of the bench, on the microwave and uh, uh, Mo, Mo, uh, Mo and the microwave show, uh, the BS3 show, the Clutch show. Let's not disagree there. Let's disagree. Inbox me. Let me get your number, H Rap. Call me up, man. I think that was some punk ass shit you did. You need to check yourself. Man, I didn't mean it like that. Man, that was some punk ass shit. Well, you don't do it no more. All right, I apologize and then we move forward. That's all I'm saying. You know, the rest of let them let them kill each other. We don't have the luxury of not. We don't have the luxury of being mad at each other anymore. 
That's all I'm saying. We don't have that luxury.